I want to walk happily with my flowers and tell him you should not check me because we had this this He's not even for to check you. He just for to beat you the fuck up. What's good? What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Out of the Box. We have a beautiful cast today. Today, start with my right. We got skinny OG man. Okay, okay. Your girl's <laughs> favorite. You yeah. got your girl La 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 Carts. Follow my journey. It's Cam. You can follow me at. Kamisha Alexis at Instagram. So, you already know who it is, your boy Q, aka Q Stay Lit, Mr. Pompano Shit. Know that. Pompano's finest, man. You heard all right, all right. We're going to go ahead and kick it off on another episode of Out of the Box. Out of the Box, man. So, what's what's the whole thing behind Out of the Box? What's the whole. Something? So, the whole thing about Out of the Box, if you've never been here and never seen it before, we have outrageous out of the box questions that we're going to go ahead and ask and you know interject spicy them. all right bet. Oh, oh out of that box, out of yeah. box. Oh, oh that box yeah. Yeah. so, crap. so <laughs> i'm gonna let you pick though i'm gonna shuffle and you okay. pick and then we're gonna go ladies ahead. first yeah right i right. agree go ahead for sure though you peek though we ain't gonna lie about that i'm sorry. don't be too crazy it's the first one of course we gotta stay lit okay what is a man's job in a woman's life? Ooh, that's pretty tough. I think you have to answer and let it go that way. Yeah. Nah, you right yeah, here. Yeah, do you answer We first? start with you, and then we'll go to me. Because you right here. Was ladies we'll first, go down the line. Yeah, yeah, ladies first. Ladies pick. Come on, go ahead. What's the question again? What is a man's... I'm going to keep it. <laughs> what is a man's job in a woman's life? Oh, man, that's tough because coming from a man like me, like, I'm someone that supports, you know? Like, I like support, supporting financially. So, like, I feel like if a girl's happy with, with the finances, bro, everything's going to be Gucci because everything is going to be convenient and easy. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I really think women look for love and all that thing and security and loyalty, but at the end of the day, you got to be secure. You know, you got to hold the family Financially. down. Yeah, you're okay. like, what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? If you don't got the money. Who's bringing in the money? Your woman's bringing in more money than you? Maybe. Uh, I don't know about Maybe. that. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, that's, what short, that's what she looking for in you. You know what I'm saying? Like, to yeah, hold it down. So I feel sense. like support was a very good answer. Yeah, it got to be. So know? in your sense, because I, like, I, I agree with what she said, so it's either support or provider. Yeah. <coughs> provider or support. Provider. Yeah. And also protection, because that's also what women look for, like emotional protection, financial protection, you know, physical protection. Mm. So that Ooh, also comes sheesh. with being secure. I think I'm not going to lie to me. I feel like a man's job in a woman's life, I love protector. You feel me? Love protector. I also feel it's, you're supposed to be my friend. Mm. True. You need mm. my friend. Because before you could be a supporter, before you before you come into my life and be my man, I have my own money. I'm I'm doing something for myself to where I have something. And so also off rip. Trust. But if you a man in my life, you you gotta be my friend. That that's your one hundred percent job. You know. Be my you know what happens majority of the time. Please elaborate. What you mean? Women love to get because they're naturally like lovers and givers and things like that mm -hmm. so like they skip the whole friendship like becoming friends learning about each other what's your likes what's your dislikes your friendships like da 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 they go straight they skip that go straight to intimacy and then you want to be friends it's like it doesn't work like that. I feel that. like that you depends on the person. Nah, it don't work like that. Nah. It does work like that. Like, you want friendship, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta want that from the beginning. <laughs> you can't just like you know generalize I mean? all females. Yeah, you know? I'm not generalizing, but <laughs> majority. I said majority. I said majority, hey, bro. Let me, let me, let me ask a question real quick off of something you said earlier. Okay, here we go. It's about the the, the finances between the two. Right. So, just off of what you said, like, oh dang. My girl make more than me. So say you meet a girl, right? Y'all kicking it, y'all vibing, everything on point. Y'all like, damn, let's try this shit out. Mm -hmm. Let's say she work in a position, 
She get a. She get a. Where she from? Where she from? No matter where she from, no, y'all vibing. It matters. Y'all, she from? she she from what South Florida. Matter? She in South Florida. Yeah, nope. <laughs> that ain't happening. What? It don't matter where she type, from, man. Where she from? It oh my God! Your okay. type. We, we talking about your type. We talking about your type. Y'all kicking it. Y'all vibing. We talking hypothetically. Don't give me all weird energy. Don't care about all that. <laughs> y'all vibing, right? Okay. So now you like, oh, let's take, let's make this shit serious. And y'all start shacking up. Okay. You find out how much she make. Mm. You feel she make more than you, so now it's it's a wrap. It's not a wrap. It, everything is situational, but it's like if I go in. I the, gave you the situation. What you talking about? That's what I'm saying. So it, it's not that I'm gonna leave shorty, but I'm gonna have to eventually come up with a with a plan for myself to make more money, man. And that just if, if a nigga walking around, going about not making a plan to at least make more money. I don't know. That's not a real man. You know what I'm saying? Like. I guess for me that's where it goes back to being a friend because you'll never know about somebody's money until y'all have that conversation. So and you have that conversation because I'm looking to you as you my friend. I can have, I can trust you now with a little bit of my financial conversation because that's my life. Low key, you shouldn't yeah. be having that conversation with just anybody. So if you now at that point where we friends, we cool. I'm having financial conversations with you, and I'm seeing to where my levels. Even if I'm not telling you the exact number that's in my bank account. We can obviously justify that I make more than you. If I'm your friend, I don't give a damn if it emasculates you in any way. Here's what you need. If you need, if you want, then do something. If you do nothing, now I realize we probably can't be friends. Because now, you, you know talking what I'm about borrowing? It depends on that mm. situation. Not even borrowing, because you could borrow, you could invest, whatever the circumstances is. If you are a friend that's in somebody's life and... Like it says, a, a man's job. So this is more than just any old person. This is somebody that's significant to this woman. If okay. she, he is significant to her, and if she has it to where she can elevate him in any way, why not? I don't. I guess. I guess. Like for why me, not? where I'm coming from, because I feel like I don't been on all sides of of like the spectrum. Like I don't been the breadwinner. <laughs> that boy's married. <laughs> yeah, I was married, and I was the I was damn sure the breadwinner. You feel what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah, you get damn right. <laughs> Sheesh. You feel me? I don't been I don't been not the breadwinner. I'm trying to you know what I'm like saying, that, but still dude. making money. You know what I'm saying? It's making good money, yeah. but I, not the breadwinner. Then I also I also been that nigga that's fresh out of prison on his dick couch to couch, ain't ain't got shit, but got a girl who like nah. My nigga, I trust you. I know you're gonna I know eventually you're gonna get you gonna get right, get going. You feel what I'm saying? Sheesh, man. I done had crazy. that. I done had the I done had the oh, I'm on my feet. I ain't a breadwinner, but I can I can take you out. Yeah. I can court you. You know what I'm saying? I can show you a good time. You feel me? I can show you that, you know what I'm saying? Give you oh, I can pay a bill or two. Yeah. You feel I might can't pay your whole rent right now, mm-hmm. but I ain't for the shack up with you. <laughs> You know what but I'm a lot of women will not tolerate that. A lot, you right, yeah. you right, it's true. you right. Yeah. But I'll tell you that you find people, and you just you just get it. You can't help who you get a connection to. Sometimes nah, facts. that's facts. You facts. can't help that. That's that's that's, that's, that's why I ask you facts. if you meet someone and y'all get that type of connection and, and vibe and y'all y'all energies is meshing. Yeah. Y'all y'all on yeah. the same vibrational levels and shit. And, and you just also, gonna feel like damn, I damn, bro. You got to know, if y'all on the same level, you got to know she going to understand what's up. And especially if you really putting that foot forward and you trying, then she going to, all right, she going to help you manifest that shit too. And be afraid. Hey, man. Yo. Man, I just think that comes from you also being secure because some men aren't that secure in themselves that they'll see so, their way through. So they just base so their value most. on, you know, their finances. And if most they ain't got none, then secure. they don't, they feel like they don't have nothing. That is so, so deep. Yeah. That is so deep. But that that's real. That's, that's some real shit. Yeah. And knowing that, that no matter what situation you get through or go through, you're going to get through it. Yeah. That's, nah, that's some real shit. That's though. deep because men oftentimes think that if they can't support or, a woman, yeah, they, can't, they be, can't be with that woman or they shouldn't I, be hey, with that caliber of woman. I ain't going to lie. If I ain't got it, I don't do shit. I'm not even trying I to. I feel you. I feel you. I if think I ain't already in a relationship, I'm not fucking with no one. I'm not even fucking with my dog. That should be... Nah, that's very essential. Uh, very essential. 
I ain't doing nothing. Boy. The the money thing don't really matter too much. If she makes more, who cares? As long as a man you're taking. Nah, I kind of had took okay. it though. I kind of had took it. Though. Nah, Gary said something too. Like you know, if she make more, you're not a man. You still could be a man and provide without right. making as mo- much as she does. Cause let's let's face it, if your girl's a nurse. And, and, and you or something else like nurses make a certain type of bread out the gate mm-hmm. like you know that and it's, especially if she's a traveling nurse she already all hey, over, you know what I'm saying so as a man I feel like you your main responsibility is taking care of the mortgage taking care of the bills at the crib and then as long as those two things are, are taken care of everything else is minuscule Cause, or cause if, you or can, if y'all communicate in some way somehow yeah then y'all can say like all right you all right? If you can't handle that, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Not not emasculating you. Yeah. Not tarnish, not belittling you. Hey, what about these? Oh yeah, nah, damn for sure. And I can yeah. keep a little money on me. And I can save. And I can. Hey, I can still take. You know what I'm saying? That's. Oh, I thought I was just talking. No, no, no. I'm saying I just stay we, in front of the mic. Oh, oh yeah, that's not. I, I ain't know we was. No, no, no. I'm saying no. Bad. If you're talking, just make sure you're in front of the mic because you was leaning over it. Yeah, cause I was talking to you. Yeah, no, I'm saying stay. In front. You can talk to me. Oh yeah. Just, just talk. Make sure the mic don't go. So that was for the show. Everything in the show. Oh shit. But, you want to have a fist away from the mic? Man, you late, man. Be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. So it's, it's cool. Like it's just fucking with you. Hey, but, nah, but as a man, I feel like your bare minimum is to be able to provide a roof over the girl's head. Minimal. That means. Boom. Lala, your eyes just did that. Why? <laughs> Say it. Why? Oh, they need to provide more than a housing and electricity. All the bills are paid for the house. And I'm it, so sorry. I really. I, stop, please. I'm not that shallow. No, I'm, I'm nah, asking. That's a question. Nah. Nah, but nah, what? Explain my, why you because, did the eye thing. Just because. <clears throat> no, that's. I, I feel as though that's not it. That shouldn't just be a man's role. That's a bare minimum. Like, it's. He can be the worst nigga in life. Excuse me. Sorry, too. He could be the worst man of life and be able to provide left and right better than the next nigga that's the best, but he can't provide yet. And you should be with him. I no. Just, again, key word: bare minimum. That's the the least you can do as a man. He can. Uh, in my woman's life, I think where Lala is coming from for us is to a more of an emotional standpoint yeah. of yeah, you can finance, you can give us money, 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 Again, but that doesn't mean word, you're gonna key word, care for us. Minimum. I'm not saying that's what she needs. I said that's just entry. <laughs> that's entry level. No, no it's not, it's not entry level. Because when I, if you meet somebody in Starbucks, offer. I'm not asking you, can you provide for me? That's, no. I'm, I'm talking about when you're in a point of relationship, not meeting someone. So now, okay, so now we've gotten to know each other, and now I'm gonna kick you out the door and forget all the feelings I built up with you for I'm the saying. last for the last two weeks again, we've been talking. Again, hold on. I can feel you. Hold on. For the last two weeks we've been talking. And now we're now we're, we're in the discussion. Me? No, you're not moved in, but now we're probably or a month, a a mm-hmm. year, whatever. We're talking. And now we come to a conclusion where you can't provide necessarily the caliber of society's characteristics as a man should. And now I got to kick you to the door because you can't necessarily no provide. One, no one said that. That's, that's technically what you're saying. His, his entry level is bare minimum. So at any point, if he can't provide, then he's no longer entered. He's, he shouldn't be on my doorstep because now he can't provide anymore. Here, here's the thing. No. Here's the thing. Obviously, it's case by case. Where, what was the question? The question is, what is a man's job? That doesn't. Everyone doesn't meet a jo- the job description. Sometimes there's compromises within that. There's some women that don't tolerate that, and if you have other women that will work with their man, like you ladies, that's what I'm getting from y'all. Y'all said, oh, that's not gonna make me kick out my guy. But y'all, by the time y'all get to that point, y'all gonna know what that person could do. You know what I'm saying? But as for the question, what what I believe is just at least be able to keep a roof over your family's head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it. A roof? That that's not asking for much. You know what I'm saying? You work a 40 hour a week, you could pay you could pay a fourteen hundred dollar rent, two bedroom, you'll be straight. To spin back on the emotion thing. But emotion is the other part. But <clears throat> all that is cool, <laughs> I think, in my opinion, until I mean, yeah, you said emotion, right? Mm-hmm. So you get upset. Okay. Then there's that. For, hmm? Can I say something on the bare minimum thing? Okay, for right. like men, I think their bare minimum for a woman is to be able to buy, provide for them. For women, I think the bare minimum for us is to be like 
to like be I said, there. a friend and to be there because with a friend, you you gonna be there for your dogs. Your dogs call you, you there, right. and that's all we want from y'all as well. Same thing. So y'all want a couple of peas, right? Protect, yeah, we're pushing P. Yeah. Procreate. It, logically, though, if you Procreate, think about it, yes. if you Build can't, kingdom. let's say right now we meet each other and or when we meet each other, yes, your your entry level is correct. You can provide great. Something happens, you lose both your legs. Now you can't provide the way you used to. Oh boy. I'm not your I'm not your friend. I'm not supposed to be there for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. If she wanted, if I ain't got two legs and she wanted to dip. I'm gonna just be like, that's the make them a hopeless romantic. Let's go to the next question. Wait, I got two legs. <laughs> Literally. Literally. I'm a hopeless romantic. What? I'm trying to I can't even know. walk Why away from this shit. Legs? Nah, that's so wrong. Nah. I get pissed off. I can't even walk away. Yeah, people have their breaking points. Everyone's not gonna stay for for everything. Like that's, so that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? But if you're one of those women that that are willing to stay with your man and compromise. That's what a partner is. It's a partnership. That's why, hold on, that's why the guy pays majority of the bills and you stack your bread up. So if shit happens and he needs somebody to take sure. care, you have that reserve because you were stacking your bread. You feel okay. me? Yeah. That's hopefully. where the, hopefully, yeah, no, hopefully. That, that, that's, that's, that's a, agreed. That is, see, that, that's, 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 that's another P. I partnership. Agree. Yes, yes. But you gotta be a friend. How you gonna be a partner if you ain't my friend? Next question, okay? It's gonna go to my dog, Lala. No, I picked. I picked first. Well, I did the first question. So it's you, G. It's on you. To my dog, Gary. Let me pick, let me pick out your Sorry, hand. Oh, she said the Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Can you truly be in a long distance relationship? So I'm going to pass this over. <laughs> To my man Q. Let's go. Man. We're gonna pass this book for a while. Yeah. Can oh, you we'll truly be, be in a long distance relationship? So remember that time we were talking about when I was married? Remember that last time? <laughs> well, I was all the way in Korea, boy. <laughs> I was all the way in Korea. Yeah, I was in the army. Mm. So, I mean, so like, we met at Grad Bash. We were talking about that earlier. We met at Grad Bash. She lived in Lauderdale. I stayed in Pump. I mean, I stayed in Palm Beach at the time. Then I moved back now, Pompano. We move in. You know what I'm saying? I start living with her. You feel what I'm saying? Then I leave for the army. Mm -hmm. Now I'm the breadwinner. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When I was when I was with her, like in the beginning, I was I was the breadwinner, but my money it wasn't. I wasn't the consistent breadwinner. Because I was in and out of trouble and shit, and I said, fuck all this, I'm going to join the, try this some new shit, join the military, join the army, you know what I'm saying? So I go to basic training, boom, long distance relationship, I'm in South Carolina. Leave South Carolina, go to Virginia, now I'm even further from South Florida. That's not bad. Leave Virginia. Two hour flight. Leave Virginia. Oh, in the midst of all that, get married. You feel what I'm saying? Jeez. All that training and shit. It's a whole lot of life. Yeah, get married. Will you marry me? Then I go to then I go to Korea. Now I'm really long distance. You feel me? Korea. Big, big, big breadwinner. Really boy. big breadwinner. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? She should have just moved with you. She ended up. I ended up flying out, and she moved in. We got an apartment. Yeah, off base. In Korea. In Korea. Oh shit. That's yeah. good. That's kind of lit. I'm saying, oh, boy. It's lit. Yo, we had, we had, we had boy, I'm talking about we were like the Jeffersons. That's lit. Moved on up to the far east side. Far, far east. Answer the question, though, man. So, lie. yes or no? If you, had to, if you had to answer yes or no, and that's all if you can say. If it's real, if it's real. And no, no, no. All you can say is yes or yeah, no. I'm going to do it. Yeah, damn right. Why? Especially if I don't already hit you. Why? <laughs> Why? Huh? Why do it? I just gave you one reason. If I don't already hit you, that thing bite me, yo. I'm, I'm coming. They ain't going to nobody else. It's mine. It's mine. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely I can think do it. it's possible. Go ahead, Kim. Yeah. Nah, go ahead, Kim. Go ahead. Yeah, for somebody that's been like in a from New Mexico to New York for like six months. I think like if you focus on what you're trying to do and they're focused on what they're trying to do, 
and y'all really want to be together, it doesn't matter because then you really have time to focus on yourself. So your partner is just like. So you're saying you've been in a long distance relationship? Yes, I'm saying I've been. Okay, in a hold on, something's up, bro. We, because you guys about make this, this seem like it's so easy it to is. do. Listen, it's First of all. You guys make it seem like it's so easy to do. Like there has been no major speed bump. Like I'm talking, I'm not talking about the doo 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 doo. I'm talking about the one that like infidelity is involved. No. Miscommunication, it's arguments, you want me little to petty on things. You know what I'm saying? Like in the you guys are saying, yeah, yeah. Like really think about it. Listen, we are right. thinking about it. I've been in long distance, and I would say no. Listen, let me let me let me say this. No. Let me say this. <laughs> no. Current, current, my 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 current girlfriend. You know I work. I travel for work. You do? Quit playing with me, bro. I travel, so I travel for work. You feel me? I done spent months in Idaho, months in <laughs> South Carolina. Idaho. You don't see your driver? Nah, nah. I do like oil field work. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, bumps. It's we done <laughs> mountains, boy. But she in the audience right now. You feel what I'm saying? Girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? So it's like <laughs> that shit. If it's real, you gonna, gonna know. It's, you it gonna work. know it's real, bro. Yeah. And it if just also real, comes you know with you being yeah. an individual and a person. Like, how strong are you? What do you want? Do you want to be with them? If you want to be with the them, the keyword. Let's listen to the keyword in the question. The keyword is truly. It says, "Can you truly?" Yes. The answer is no. Okay, physically, no. But to be connected and say, yeah, we gonna, no matter what, we still going to come back yeah, I together. Feel, I, feel, I feel what you're saying. As long as you guys are on the same page. What about you, though? I think I, think I get what you're saying, emphasizing the truly. Because after a while, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. get back together. Meet each other somewhere, some way, somehow. So I feel you on. What so is it? For a while, maybe in the beginning, as we, you know, Get to know or nah, get to know. we nah. I, I don't like long distance. I'm sorry. No, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. It's hard. Yeah, sorry, I'm like, hey, 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 I'm riding your girl I'm down up, the street. I'm gonna though. end up. I'm gonna end up so, traveling to you. That's so, them, fam. Long distance to an extent because obviously I'm gonna travel to you, and then it's it's for how long? Like how long for of our relationship are we gonna be long mm, distance? That's what I'm saying. It's a year, two years, three years, four years. You know what I'm saying? Question. So. Um, is it because of physical? Are you physical? Is it missing the person physically? Yeah. Because you're, you're going to be on the phone with them. I think in long distance, you speak to somebody so you really get to know them. Because all you got is what they're saying and creating like a mental movie, right? So is it the physical piece that would make you not be able to do it? Absolutely. Yeah. After a while, I want to touch you. I want to kiss There's you. That. I want to hug you. I want to love on you. I want to show you the yeah. affection that we talk about on the phone. Cool. That's what I'm saying. So, so would you be against coordinating? Because long distance could work if you like one flies out once a month. No, it definitely does work. Know? But over time, like the whole being separated part and not being able to be with them, it really does like it eat away so at you. And then like you start creating problems out of nowhere. Because now I miss you and you're not here. And now I like. And then temptation is a bitch. So it's just like infidelity is huge with long distance. And then. That probably happens eight out of ten times. Exactly. And then when you're the type <laughs> yeah. of person that's probably not really the best with trust, and your trust gets broken in a long distance relationship, it's like. It's oh, over. It will never be the same. It, yeah. No it's, matter it's how really, many really times hard. you try. No, I will say it, it'll never be the it same. It'll never be but the it same. But it don't necessarily mean it's over, though. No, Agree it's over, you. fam. No, nah, it's not over. You're, hold, you're, you're holding on to hope. We don't believe in hope. What do you mean? Who don't believe in hope? That sound like a you sound like a lost cause you sound right like now. Like an atheist. Nah. Not even on no religious shit. Not it's, even. You just sound like it's reality. Ain't no hope, bro. Like if you if it's you it's not reality. In that situation, if you if you break dishonest, a lady will never truly believe you ever again. That, do you know how much times women take their niggas back after? Uh, that, okay, is hold on, hold on. Yours. Hold on. that is your. That is your. That's not me. Right. That's what he's saying. Wait, wait. Listen to what he's saying because. Like what? Okay, Repeat what you said. Repeat what you said. If a guy is dishonest to you, you will never, ever, ever trust him the way you trusted him before ever again. Okay, yeah, but that don't mean that it's over. It's that is over. 
It's not over. That that itself, that umbrella itself, depletes a lot of things that in life. That don't mean that it's over, bro. Well, because then you could come back. The, the possibility, the same, but the possibility of over. it being ever the same before is very slim. Who knows me. if that shit make it bad for a phase, and then that shit make it ten times better than it was before. I think, like, <laughs> you an analogy it. or an example. Yo, is this like, is not yeah. a movie. So would you agree? That, I think it's like, once you break her trust, for the most part, you kind of always trying to... Repaint like, it. Yeah, so it's, it's like, like putting, paint a picture. It's like trying yeah. like, like, to put a band-aid on broken glass. That shit's still broke. You know, <laughs> there broke. is a type of art where but people that break that glass purposely and then rebuild it to make it more beautiful. So when he's saying it's not over, you can break something down to build it back up. Yeah, the trust will never be the same, but then he tries 10 times harder. Now your relationship is 10 times better. But again, the trust will never be the same. So. Okay, catch 22. There are women out here that won't tolerate a second chance okay. because they're not going to go through with that women. ever again because they've been hurt so many, so many, so many times. Okay. So they're not doing second chances. But then there are girls like you, and if they dishonest you, you're going to give them another chance, and you're going to see how they no, do. No, that's not true. You it's if that. you show me that you exactly. love me. If, if you show, show me. effort, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But there's some girls that won't even tolerate, even if you want to give them effort. It's, no, nah, I can't do second chances. Because okay, I, 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 I respect that. Moving on. That's it. But then there's the girl that's going to... Well, that's your me, reality, Gary. That's what. That's how you feel, and that's like. I think that's majority. That boy's celebrity. I think that's majority. That boy's celebrity, man. Lay back, Gary. Okay. He's oh, no. a celebrity. Hey, let the viewers. Hey, man. The viewers. Please know what's up. type in the comments, y'all. Real life people, bro. The viewers know what's up. I try man. to deal with real life people who who understand, cause I understand, bro. Real, sh real shit. Like people go through shit. People make mistakes. People. Yeah. Like I, I ain't saying, oh, go out there and cheat. I ain't saying do that. I ain't saying, oh, go out there and sneak and geek. But I'm just saying, like, I'm un I'm an understanding ass nigga. So, so, so Q, is that settling? Is, is that, that settling? I'm asking, is that person, <laughs> would that person be settling, though? No, that's their choice. That's their choice. Cool. And all our choices are. Some say. It, it, it Some probably, say settling. Yeah. So just like that person may not think it's worth giving another shot I just, that person kind of is settling kind of in a sense you are look i don't been i don't been in a relationship where i don't been dead wrong and i let it rock mm -hmm. then that person want to get they lit back and then see see no nah, i'm not no 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 i'm not that nah. hell no listen, hell, no. Talk, this is what i'm talking I can't about do that. bro no no i get you. Can't do I, that. I, I i i mess up what i meant to say like <laughs> Like, I get, my, I get my lick back. That's what I, say. I mean to say. I get my lick back. Let's say, you know what I'm saying? On some childish shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At that point, now nah, it's over. Ain't not, now. It's oh, oh, you, what? Oh, I'm, so I don't give a fuck about that. It's over. You feel me? So, yeah, I've been with them types. I've been with them types. You feel me? But, like, I can speak for myself. I'm understanding. Like, for me, it ain't just no... One for me, it ain't one and done. I understand. That, yeah. And then people have walls, and it's just up to you if you want to stay and break it down or not. If you want to actually go through and sit there and deal with all their traumas for you, for them to gain your trust. But that depends on you if you want to go through that with that person and all that shit before you actually get to have what's at the end of that wall. And I feel like that sh that'll show that'll show who you know what I'm saying, what your your dude or your girl. And who really yeah, there for you and who damn, really might, wanna be might, with you. Yeah, what was the question? Might, what was the question? Long distance. Yes. Long distance. Can you truly be in a long distance yes. relationship? Yes, yes, yes. 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 No, yes. no, no. Next question. Yeah. Next question. Cool. Next question. Oh, is it my turn? Hold on. Oh yeah, that's a good one right here. No, but I ain't gonna pick him. But that's a good one right here too to watch. <laughs> I hope so. Let's get juicy. Come on, man. Bring the juice. Get your ass up. Light skin and Mm-hmm. I don't want to ask the question. Are you submissive in your relationship? Mm. I told you. I think the girls got to answer that first. Why? I feel like Men females got to go first on that one. Are oh, y'all submit now? What are you saying, Q? No, he's saying, Q? I feel like females should go first on that one. Yeah, for sure. For sure, so it's not biased. Cause you know how girls be. Nah, I think we're good. 
<laughs> I think everybody should be submissive at some point. Yeah. Because when a woman is riding y'all, hell, y'all, y'all submissive. Oh, hell. you're talking about that type of submissive. I'm just saying. I'm talking. In, I'm just bringing something to perception. There's we submissive about, goes we around. We talking about sex or we talking about just a relationship? Sex is a part of a relationship. Oh, oh I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> you, submit, you ain't gonna have no choice in that bed. <laughs> Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> that, yeah, I think both parties need to be submissive at one point. Mm. What was the a woman more so, because you want that man to keep that masculinity. Facts. But it is not a job for a woman to be masculine. That is a man's job, you know. That also comes with, you know, masculine and feminine energies and like what's dominant in your person. Because, right. you know, it's like, girl, like, that's like a girl dominatrix. wearing a pants in their relationship. It's not no, happening. No, it's bro. like some women have jobs where they literally like be little men for money. Like that. A dominatrix. Yeah. What? That's a thing. Oh, and shit. men pay women to be belittled. So, you know, it <laughs> depends on Sheesh. you and your preferences. Mm. I hear you. Uh, to an extent, I feel as though like, okay, if I'm right in a situation, if we're in a really big argument and we going at it for whatever reason, we're up here at some point and I maybe say something and you realize that you're wrong, I feel as though you should submit at that point. Like, damn, babe, you know what? You're right. I shouldn't have did this and I shouldn't have did that. At that point, you should submit it. And then now we make love, my mom, why? But me? then men but, tend to overly dominate and over aggress the situation instead of wanting to admit they're wrong and feed into their pride. Oh, yo, hold on. Don't attack. Because <laughs> you Just was the same exactly. one saying what I was like saying towards most of people. You're saying men do, like, I don't do that at all. Like, I'm just saying from my experiences. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we all agree what everybody should be submissive? Yeah, at some point. I dropped a question. Yeah. Here, here's the thing, though. Oh, boy, here we go, Ricky. Sub submission, people think it's just giving up. It's also knowing when to fight and when not to fight. That's what she was saying. When to, to be aggressive and when not to be aggressive. That doesn't mean, and it's also about leadership, allowing someone to know when to lead and, and, and things like that. Because sometimes people get overly aggressive in things that they don't even need to be aggressive about. Why are you fighting me about where we're going to eat? Why are you fighting me about what shoes you, I'm wearing right now? What, what, what's the bigger picture here? You said it. You, you said you it. Me? So, it's a big picture. Yeah, so it's being submissive, that's like a trigger word for a lot of people, but at the end of the day, it's all about compromise and understanding who's the leader in the relationship there can't be two leaders because that way there's going to be too many conflicts there's partners there's there's especially in relationships a leader will also a smart leader will know when to step to their partner and ask them for help where they're stronger in, you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. if i know my girl's better with the finances hey yo you handle the bread i'm just going to make sure all everything else is, is where it needs to be and vice versa, you feel me? Uh, for the woman, oh, I can't fix that, but I know you know how to get it done, so let's do that. So it's all it's an even trade. It's all about trusting your partner. Submission, it's, it starts with trust. If you don't trust your partner, that's where you're going to be overly masculine and, and, and try to control the overly relationship. Dominate, yeah. yeah, so it really starts with trust. If, if you're not submissive in a relationship, I feel like there's no trust there. Next question. Wise words from Ricky T. Okay, next question. Out the bizox. So the question is, what, being a virgin? can you date someone who still lives or deals with their ex? Hell no. Miss me with all that. Nah, we're going to go with Q first. Oh, my God. What do my deals? <laughs> Listen, man. Listen to the... Don't go deep with... Let's not go deep. Right, right, right. Right, right. Can I mean, you date someone who still lives or deals with their ex? Deals, Let's go, Q. Deals as in pop-up conversation deals. here and there. Deals as in it's still involved in their life. Let's okay. get it down like that, bro. Stop have, playing. They could, I'm have, playing. They could have kids. Details. 
They could have kids, so they deal with each other that way. Mm. Or they, they just can't afford to move out, so they have to. You mm. know what I'm saying? Shit like that. What it is, Q? Talk to me. Now, that situation ain't happening. Why? I'm talking about living with, with your baby daddy? Why? That what you saying? Yeah, living with your partner. Hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. I think if you can't provide a place for her to stay at the time. But you just met her. Well, yeah, you like you you're to just starting to talk. Like, it's not the time. You need to unmeet her. She's here so together. <laughs> what? So it's no. <laughs> if she's her. living, but we're with talking her about baby. a guy for you though. Unmeet him. <laughs> if she's living, if if her and her baby daddy are living together, they I can't, I can't do it. If they if they are co-parenting, not living together, all right, I, whatever, cool. I'm big dog around right here though. You know what I'm saying? So what does that mean? If you have a baby daddy mm-hmm. and y'all co-parent mm-hmm. co- and co-parent only Yes. Okay. Okay. We scrape. Yeah. But if they live together Hell fuck no. Nah. Because I know if I'm the baby daddy Oh, you fuck with her? shit. I just out of spite, just being petty to type right, of thing. Right, know. right. I'm finna, I ain't yeah. even finna try to hunt you. Why I'm finna just try to eat your eye, just play with you. Know, do smack you your ass every time you walk by. Just, to, just rub to, you on the neck and shit like that. Why would you find out two months after? Like, she don't, it, it ain't something that crossed your mind. You, you don't, you never ask a girl who you live with when you first meet her. Like, you met her, everything cool, you are hanging out. Why? Ain't? This is this this. I'm just paying the picture. I can't even hypothetical that. I'm paying the picture so you can dive deep with it. Everything's rolling smooth and, and she's amazing on all that. And this is like two months past. Then you find yourself. Two months not fit a pass for that. Yeah, that don't happen for him. Bro. Two months? Yeah. That's a long time for real. Yeah. But I mean, okay, but think about think about if we if we if we, if we done though. met and we ch- we talking, we vibing. Especially we've been them, them one of them one of my icebreaker questions. Oh, what, oh, you you stay by yourself? What you? That's because you know we live in Broward County, dog. I'm not gonna lie to you because you go to certain places. That's not the icebreaker question. I mean, no, I, not, 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 no, 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 no. Right, right, right. Bad you, choice of words. Bad choice. Of la la, la la. Bad choice of words. <laughs> Not not an icebreaker question, but after we done, you know what I'm saying? I got your number. We done met. We done talked probably about three, four, five days. Five days? I'm sorry. That's too, you know, don't worry. Um, who do I no, because I, I, I might hit you up. With, I would probably hit you up with, hey, you want to pull up? You want to meet? You want to go? You ain't got to know who's in my hey, house go- in order to pull up on me. What? Well, I need to know what I'm I'll coming into. How about that? I need to know what I'm coming into. Oh, I need to know what I'm coming into, my nigga. I live with the mafia. How about that? Like, so, so if I say, yo, let me cook dinner or let me bring you some dinner. Your house. Mm-hmm. Because okay. she's keeping herself but what, private. She, she probably doesn't want to tell you at that moment. If, that's if she wish. says my, it ain't going to take no, there, hey, maybe there, not five days, but it ain't going to take no two months. Yo, there, there's been times where I don't care where the girl stays because she at my crib all the time. Yeah. Like, I, she just tell me where to pick her up. She live in an apartment complex. All right. I ain't yeah. even got to come to your crib to, to know to have to know that what you stay with your you? baby dad. What did I lie to you? Bro, that's, a, that's an lie. important thing. You gotta, you gotta tell me that, bro. <laughs> I feel like you're going to lie to me. You're gonna, you're if she going to lie to me, then it's over with. Once I find out, you... Not, yeah. not literally, you two. Hold on. Hold on. What if she's didn't tell you because she's in the process of looking for a new place? Right. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, if she didn't tell you because she's in the process of looking for a new place? Right. Right. Nah, 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 nah. Because... Well, how at me when you get your new shit? Me personally? Oh, come, oh, come stay with me. And that's probably exactly why she's not going to I don't know you. Come stay with you. I don't know you. Now we're not even friends no more. Then how let me when you how let me when you get scraped? Then. All right, bye. You just missed out on one. <laughs> hey, I mean, if he really wanted, it's seven yeah, billion right. people. In if he month. really wants it, he would understand that personally. I don't want to share that information, yeah. and I don't know you from a can of two paints. So what I'm gonna do is give you my personal information periodically. Throughout our, our okay, time, that's gonna take it may two not months. Be, it may not, maybe not two months, but maybe a month and a half. It could take two months, and it two could probably months? take two months because two months goes by quick. That's three weeks. Mm-hmm. You probably, if you really logically think about it, some people work. Yeah, you're you're probably your probably not gonna. See, you may speak with one hold another. On, hold on, all right, hold on. I'm not speaking. No, all right, you may talk my bad, to one my bad. Another, I'm, sp- I, I, I might, y'all might not have caught it, but I'm speaking on just to know if your baby daddy stayed with you. 
Yeah, because look, it, okay, try to have that conversation, right? Go ahead. You just you met you just met her in a club. Simple. You met her in a club. Real simple. Talk. Simple. Let, let you, let, let you talk. It's simple. Go it's ahead. you have a casual conversation and you're asking the most simplest thing like, what are you about to do today? And they can tell you the truth and be like, oh, I'm about to pick up my kid for my baby daddy. Or then it just starts like that. Or like, yeah, I'm about like, to pick I'll up my lit. kid, period. period. <laughs> or, 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 all the time. Yeah, and but, you're thinking of what I'm saying. I'm not saying she can. He might, he might step, he take one more step forward and be like, where's your kid at right now? Why are you what? asking me all that questions? Are you going to, you really going to say that? If, if possibly, I'm picking my child up. High, when you're on your high, we don't say, remember when we spoke about, you don't say no. When you're talking to somebody at the beginning, you don't. You're volunteering information. You're, that's just running through you. Because you, you want that person to know. Hey, I, I, I believe I, I agree oh, with you. Oh, you got kids? No, but everyone, oh, you got kids? Everyone don't share. Oh, you, you still Hold fuck on. with your baby daddy? Hold on. Everybody don't share everything. Facts. You, Everybody don't. On, everyone's put, that first time you meet somebody, they put on a facade. But that don't oh, take oh, two oh, months. Right. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. It's, it's, you ain't gonna be in a girl house casually every every night. Cute, cute, in, within two months. You got the interview with. But you gotta think about it. When you first meet somebody, everyone's putting their best face. This is the best version you're gonna get that first mm-hmm. two weeks, two months. Okay, but listen, bro, That's listen, bro. Best version. So it's like, oh, you don't know about my kid. You listen, know, listen, you listen. Know, uh, if someone That's really true. cares about you, right? Two months? No, no. No, listen, bro. Oh, listen, two months? Let him finish. Let him finish I'm listen, bro. Everybody, everybody has decency. Okay? So if you're insensitive and you care about someone and you really want this person to understand you and like you for you, you would tell them off the jump. You would. You wouldn't wait. There's no limit. Again, there's no limit. There's, it can be 30 days. It can be two months. It can be a week. There's no limit. But the fact remains is you know when the right time is and you know when too much is too much. I think 60 days is just too long to let someone know you your lifestyle, bro. You can't tell a woman that. I don't agree. I, don't, I, 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 I agree with what he's saying. Bro. I feel what he's saying. Go ahead, Ricky. Because at the end of the day, wow. women women want to be in a relationship, right? But it goes both ways, though. Niggas lie, too. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's, it's Jesus. Not, I'm not only attacking women. Then we can, about we can talk about all tipping, oh, different oh, types of how long is a man? We ain't talking about nobody lying, lying oh, though, bro. Let him finish. Come yeah. on. We ain't it's, talking about nobody lying, lying about your jit and your, and your living oh, situation. It's the same level. Because I don't want to walk into oh, something. It's the same level, though. Let him talk. It could be also they don't have a kid. They just living with their ex because they can't afford to live, move out. So they're going to tell you, oh, I stay with my homegirl and she don't like me having company because I'm, I'm, I'm about the to girl for you, place. fam. Hold on. This is, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> Guys, we, we got to be in reality here. People not going to tell you the truth. This ain't, this ain't, well, you we know don't. that. People lie, then people lie, they've been the in relationships for five years. Problems later on. Not necessarily because no, you, have to, you have to still have yes, a level of will. understanding. You could be getting out of something. I gotta realize. But that, that Y'all gotta, gotta realize. Lie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One, one last thing, then I'm gonna pass. <laughs> this is the only thing. Y'all gotta realize, like, if I'm if I'm living with my ex and I'm trying to get out of that shit, I'm not gonna tell you that because I know that could be a possible deal breaker. You gonna stop fucking? Why with Why are you me. even playing the field if you living with your ex trying to get out the situation? We know, we know what the fantasy world is. We know what that is. We know what what oh the the right thing to do. But let's be real, niggas don't. People in general don't. No, people like don't that. know what the right thing to do is. But just to give yourself at least a good month, two months, three months before yeah, you say you I, go back I, out I, there. I, I, I'll be at my house. Because you're in a sticky situation. Like, my roommate. Just saying. Just if I if I if I fucked up and I know this is the girl I want and I just need to get myself right, I'll find a way to make it work until I'm right to to really be like, alright, come over to the crib. You know what I'm saying? Well, then you tell her that. You so what if that take you a year? If it's gonna take me a year, I ain't doing that. But if, if I know, yo, I got like. Some people might go. If it's, if it's working for you, it's it so Q, let me ask you this: If I, if, if she withholds something from you, is that a lie? <laughs> if, if she doesn't tell you something, is that a lie? It ain't a lie, but it's like the secret. But but how is it secret? She figures it's not important to talk about right now. Because you don't want a month in. Yeah. Now now it's a month in. Now it's a month in. Well, important. then it depends on the time period. Is, you must find that important. I'm and I'm gonna be one more solid. No, we also have to factor in um, uh, other other things, traumatic situations. If she has a baby, then that means, and they're not dealing with each other like that. There's some shit going on. It, it, it's not smooth. 
So she needs to go ahead and vet you long enough to make herself feel comfortable in order for her to go ahead and let you in. So like one, me, that's not going to take one, two, two months, you, bro. You, you, you can't, can't, you can't rush a girl who has a kid, though. That sounds wild. Yeah. You're going to tell a girl who has a kid because she's beautiful and all that. Hey, you take it too long, you know, to really get me into you. No, no. But to wait, tell me your living situation. Right. Yeah, I understand. To tell me if you living with your baby daddy. This, that's what you're saying is. Now I know, okay, I'm going to respect her. your household you're, even more. Or are you going to get fed? Yeah. And that's the but I'm going to let you know, like, hey, I, ain't, I don't feel but comfortable that's with that. like a you, checklist thing now. You're pressing now you her know. comfortability with you with one, one to know. She's going to allow you to know. She'll get there. You can't just say, hey, why are you not telling me? Why are you so not then, me? But it's not fair to the other person. Because no, can I ask something? Let me know. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, let me know. So I can make my decision. Can I ask y'all a meta question? How many of y'all... Ask us. Let me ask y'all a meta okay. question, right? Because this is kind of the same. How many of y'all let a girl know when you first start messing with her, talking to her, whatever, that you're ready for a relationship? Absolutely not. No, wait until she read What? Uh -huh. Wait, what? Hold on. Exactly. How many of y'all exactly. men... I'm trying to understand you. Here's the question. How many of y'all in here, when you first meet a woman, mm. she's beautiful, you meet her at a club, wherever you meet her, how many of y'all would say, at a value time frame within the relationship, you tell her, I'm ready to be in a committed relationship with you? With yeah. her or just a committed relationship? Just with her. With her? Probably like within a month. Yeah. Within a month? Within two months. Within yeah. two months? She got to be in a relationship with me for a year before I am OB. What? Do you hear what you're saying? Do you hear what you're saying? Joey, I'm joking. I'm joking. Are we smiling? He answered you. Well, I'm, hey, I, said I ain't going to lie, boy. I'm going to make sense. Like, hey, listen here. Look. Look. I done met a, I done met a bit working. She got three kids in a week. I'm like, yeah, I want to be with this motherfucker. Okay, okay. Kind of a question. Now, within that, you said two months. Within, who? Somebody said two months. Two months. She should tell you that she's with well, lives with her I'm baby. Right. Within that time frame, yeah. right? Within that two months time frame, how many women are you probably still speaking with, yeah. fucking, yeah, talking to, really still to so whatever? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She she, she could be living in a in a room by herself, door right. locked, and never yeah. sees this man ever. But how many of you within that two months is still they gotta still, see each hold other? On, hold on, it's still, okay. Let me tell you something. When it comes to a woman, sometimes when you know you do not belong in a situation, you can lock shit up, clink clink, real quick, just because you don't. Or be, you, you don't can emotionally. Leave. You, all right, all right. All right. Anyways, anyways, the question is: in those two months, how many women are y'all still entertaining? Still speaking to you want to call your friend, call her your bestie, call her your sister, whatever the circumstances is. Okay then, but you want her to tell you her living arrangements? If you don't get off my doorstep, what? Bye. Bye. <laughs> Shit. Bye. When you get into a situation, you need to understand that everyone has their own. Let me let me get let me get let me get let me let me let me get you a let me get you let me get let me say this. Hold on. If I we don't need the address. We just want to know, is there a guy, this baby? I don't know what I'm about to walk into when I ever get there. Let things. me say this. I don't know how many condoms you use a day. Cool. I don't know that's how many different. you actually you don't. I could be catching someone or something. Committing or something because you're actually still messing with 20 girls right now. Like, what? But I need to tell you that I lock my door at night and my baby daddy is in the other this. room right. because I can't financially move out with my child. Yeah. And well, then... Yeah. You tell me your your girlfriend stay with you, your 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 best friend, your bestie, right? I right, bet, cool. I wanna I wanna send you some flowers. I'm gonna send you some flowers. You need the address. You give me the address. That don't mean I gotta pop up. Hey, let me send you something. I wanna send you. I wanna let me. I'm not gonna let me send you some flowers. You feel what I'm saying? Females love roses, right? They love bouquets and all that bullshit. Let me send you some flowers. I send you some flowers. You get you you get home. You you go in your room, lock your door. You smelling your flowers. You don't lock your door in your room that you have all to yourself. Don't fuck with. You smelling your flowers. Your baby that you don't walk past your baby daddy. He on the TV. He watch. He playing the game. He playing Fortnite and all that bullshit. Building houses and killing shit. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He see you. 
Now he, now he mad. He pissed off because you got flowers because he a stupid nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Fuck your room being locked up. He finna beat that shit down because oh, who you get them flowers from? Now he beating your shit down. Now he breaking in. Now he beating your ass. You don't think I need to know what, 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 what you dealing with, bro. Because I like, I'm a nigga that like to do nice shit. I like to do nice gestures. If I might want to send you some if flowers. If a woman gets you in that predicament, then she's not a woman. No, it's not me not being that in that predicament. It's her it's, yes, being no, in no, that no, predicament because no, you cause dealing she with. Will know. If a woman is in a predicament where she cannot get flowers to her doorstep, she's not going to put herself in that predicament. Or she That's shouldn't. True. Some if niggas does, don't show that. If she does, so- then she's an idiot. Some because niggas don't know, show that. You need to know that if you get flowers to your doorstep and your baby daddy's gonna trip, you need to not be out there trying to do nothing until you get yourself out on your that's individual on your individual doorstep. Okay. Now if, you can I get flowers because you don't got a whole nothing. What if that's the straw that breaks the camel's back? Right. It, what do you, you could be masking it? You know that. What, he be what? what if that's the straw that breaks the camel's back? Yeah. What if that's the, the, the icing on the cake for it all? What do you? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's been quiet. He's the whole been. Time. He's, he's been, been like, we live together. Cool. I ain't seen no guy in here. Cool. I see flowers. The flowers from the icebreaker? Then I no. want to walk happily with my flowers and tell him you should not check me then because we had this discussion. He's not even for to check you. He just for to beat you the fuck up. Okay, now. Nah. And then if we saying. as women we, tell we you never, that, right? We can't okay. dictate how someone's going to react. Can't. We cannot. So you're However, saying if flowers, cool. To you it's flowers. To him, that's his replacement. Reality set in. Now he's actually seen. He ain't seen no guy come in, but he see flowers. He done seen you glow. He done seen you glow in. You ain't trip, man. Go Which on goes ahead. back to what I said. If you are a woman in this predicament, because a man is not gonna just show you just that one encounter. Please stop that. Emotions are emotions, and men show you if you are. If this is your baby daddy, and this is somebody you live in a house with, he has shown you some type of trigger once upon a time. Mm-hmm. You yeah. should know him to an extent to where okay. you should say, I should not get okay. flowers to my doorstep. Okay. You I should say, get flowers to my doorstep. I respect You've that. You've got to. I Especially if you're a woman that's about to be out there okay, again cool. and you're bringing another man. Because if we want to really talk about it, niggas can die in mm-hmm. situations like this. People die over situations like this. Yeah. So if you are a woman or a man trying to get back out there, you want to do whatever, whatever, please think about the situation you're in and don't put nobody's child in a detrimental situation to cool. where they can die. Period. Bet. Don't get flowers on your doorstep if you're not supposed to right cool. now. Cool. Okay. Wait. Let me say this. That's Let it. me say this. How many females we know personally that get their necks, got to get their head knocked off their neck and still be them? And still will stay and still will have sympathy for the guy that done beat their ass. But that's just. I just seen it today. I just seen it today. Women, we just seen it today. We, that should not be. That's just our inner characters. That shouldn't reflect how we like react that ain't to our inner something. Like, <laughs> so no, sorry. just being a nurturer yeah, and somebody like yeah, to take being care a nurturer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, the, what's, but the minute no, you start raising your fist, I'm not saying you should stay. But I'm oh. saying, oh, I have a question. What and, and if women tell you that, like, okay, I live with my baby daddy. What are you gonna do? Yeah, how are you gonna that. change that? That's fair. Like what? You give the man the option to choose rather to stick around or to leave. True. That, that, that's what. And if I and if I decide and if I decide to stay, Sheesh. I'm gonna say, hey, we gotta come up with some kind of you set. Let's let's set some boundaries. Let's put some boundaries in place. Like I and cool. I want right. to respect whatever is going on. That's but I ain't gonna lie, me. If y'all are living together, hey, holla at me when you. You know what I'm saying? You a good girl. Love you. Hey, and and for the record, not be all mad. men beat their women. Let's, let's no, not, no, 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 let's no, 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 like no. I'm not saying that, but what if the guy are we talking about real it? life? Or are we talking about some fairy but tale real shit? Life, real life, everybody don't beat their girls. Okay, but are we <laughs> talking about? But <laughs> but question. does it happen? Next question. But does happens. it happen? Just because it happens, don't make it the majority. We got. I didn't say it was the majority. I never put no percentage or nothing on. Next question. You just. I'm just. I'm just saying in general. I'm putting that out as a disclaimer. Next question. You know, and this is the last question. <laughs> so we about to answer it? the next question. Let's get it. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I think it is me. You read that last one. Right? Men get the ass beat too, now. That's true. Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, hey, Ooh, that's human the nature worst. is human nature. All right. Pick a question, girl. Hello. You listen to my All right. Cheese and peas.
Don't rush me. All right, all right. Okay. I kind of like this question. It's juicy? Right. It's cool. It can be juicy if y'all niggas keep up. If you peoples keep up. <laughs> <laughs> can you date someone seriously who has an OnlyFans? Don't, please do not bullshit me. Guys first. I like that. Guys first. Let's go skinny. <laughs> you, 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 you the celebrity. <laughs> can I date someone that has an OnlyFans? Seriously. Can I yeah, seriously? Yeah, seriously. Can you? So this is somebody you probably might marry. Because that's serious. <laughs> but they have an OnlyFans. And the majority of their money though. is coming from OnlyFans. Yeah. What is she doing on OnlyFans? <laughs> because I know some people she, that, she that, 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 that that sell art. <laughs> Man, oh, she's okay. popping that toes thing. She's not so selling she's pushing pee. She pushing pee on on she only pee. She pee on the only right. pee. Let go, Gary. That's tough, man. Talk to him, my boy. Um, well, she's I can say art. this: I have talked to someone that had an OnlyFans and was pushing pee. It didn't get very far. <laughs> <laughs> so what pee one? I tried. I tried. <laughs> It was very tough. Like, you, your mental has to be, like... I think I can do it now. But back then, my mental was so, like, immature. Like, I wasn't built for, like... You got to be real strong and secure with yourself. Like, if you have a lot of insecurities, that ain't for you, fam. Because people is coming at your girl left and right, man. 24-7. Like, emails, messages, DMs, all kind of crazy things. You know what I'm saying? Oh, a lot so, of like, money, boy. And it's a lot of boundaries, too. So... <clears throat> Back then, no, now, for sure. Yeah. So if your girl, for if sure. your fiance, let's say, for yeah, sure. this is somebody you she you want to marry. Mm. Her job that she does yeah. is her only fan. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, it's it's still respect. It's still respect involved. It ain't like you just. She doesn't have any respect. She and, all there. Like, you're not you're like having relations with other Like, no. No, but you're she's showing, working. like, they ask her for a pump pump picture. She's sending a pump pump picture. Yeah, if it's business, yeah, I can handle her business. Pump pump that shows all. Sure. That shows her. Where that money going? The Where's the money going? Okay. I'm, I'm just, I'm, there, no, please do not take this any disrespect. I'm just literally deep and down, yeah. digging deep to see. Yeah, for sure. Because. It could be better. It's, res it's respect at the end of the day, though. Your next door neighbor knows your girl. It's not like I'm going. It's not like I'm going and walking around looking for a girl that's doing that. If you happen to do it while I'm talking to you, like okay, and that's what you've been doing, it's cool. But if you like, if I'm dating you and you just want to try it, I don't recommend that. But if that's what you've been doing before, yeah, I'm not knocking your hustle. But it's if you that's respect me, the difference is respect. A lot of girls don't even have respect for themselves. It don't care if you selling it like you can be you can be uh, a HOE to the streets and don't have respect for nobody in yourself, not get paid, not get money, but you can do it on OnlyFans and get paid and have respect for yourself at the same time. So that means so that means you're okay with her while you're in a relationship having sex with another man or woman. Oh. I thought we were talking about OnlyFans. Yeah. That's what they do on OnlyFans. It's no, not all they, nah. do. they don't only fucking nah. no niggas on all. You doing porn? You talking about like photos and videos? No, 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 you're not fucking no no niggas. Nah, we yeah, fuck, we fucking on only fans. But then I can't do that for My mental ain't built. Yo, if so, you so, fucking somebody on OnlyFans, you fucking me on OnlyFans. But this is what I'm saying. Before you meet them, they already had OnlyFans, like she said. The question is framed from the extreme of the OnlyFans, not the oh feet pics. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's, the it's situational for sure, but like I, I can't reach a certain point where like you're having like so intimacy star. with people. Yeah. Like I can't do that. All right, so let me, let What's me that's that's your job explicit job? content. Who gives it? Like okay, What's my, your job my job bad. Yeah, I know. Uh, I work in the oil field. Does your oil field like if you were to slip and slide records, your girl on OnlyFans, would your would they be okay with that if that got out in your job? Yeah, they don't give a fuck. They wouldn't. Huh? Nah, they wouldn't. They wouldn't give a fuck? Nah. That's why it's situational. For me, I could do it. Q can't. Kim <laughs> can't. What? Lala so, so can't. Lala can't. Like, well, I, can't. Uh, I can do this. So I'm built it. for this. Listen. You can do it with her having sex with another dude. 
No. No, she's not having no. sex with nobody. But, but why is he, he throwing that in there? Extreme. That's the, it's not, no. It's not the soft. Let so me ask you. Like no, though. No. Past videos of her doing that, yeah. or is she currently she's doing her, it? That's her bread and butter. That's how she makes. No, it. no, no. no. Nah. That's if easy. that's what you do, nah. Now you're intercoursing with other people. Yeah, cause look, that's why I don't, I don't, I don't been, I don't dealt with two porn stars before. You feel me? Like dealt with them. I ain't not relation, not been in no relate, but dealt with them. You feel me? I don't been with bitches that you know video like, like sex. I don't been like you know what I'm saying, like strippers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Not Bad. bitches who sell pussy though. You feel me? But strippers and and uh, porn stars, yeah. But I'm gonna let you know, and, and the bitch who only fans, but I would much rather deal with someone who do only fans. But you're not fucking no one. If you was fucking someone in the past, yeah. only then, but if you dealing with me, fucking with somebody, else, no, you ain't dealing with me. We might just, we might just fuck a few times here and there, woo, woo, but no, we ain't. Uh, no. You just showing your little cootie cat, cool. Could y'all? Dang. It's easy. Could y'all fuck with a nigga that's it's doing? It's not easy thing? for guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not bad <laughs> like, new. What what a nigga gonna do on OnlyFans anyway? The same um, thing. Same thing. Bitches. Exactly. It's I'm sorry. I'm now. not biased. I don't care if I'm a hopeless romantic. Whatever you want to call people like me, I don't care. The same thing as I feel as a, how a woman should be deflowered and be throwing her pom pom out there because it she a hope. Same thing for guys. I don't know about any any other female, but that conversation that men have when they hear about a girl that's been out here doing this, women have it too. And I'm like, it, it, a in a sense, street. depending upon. How you you move in the streets is how I may be attracted to you. It lowers the levels or plays the levels. De- depending, it depends. So truthfully, if you have only fans, I wouldn't wife you or hug you. I think that's a thing. Mm. You feel me? I mean, if really if I'm in a single can, I mean, stage really in my life, one or two things a nigga gonna do on, on only fans. Yeah, I mean, if you're you doing some like Victoria's Secret modeling, shit, that's cool. Yo. Dealing with that, then shit. If you're doing some like Victoria's Secret modeling and you just like showing they, off your they goods, like that's cool. Said. They can only be sending dick pics. They could be nah. But see, you you ain't no say that. You said to the stream. That ain't right. Yeah, that ain't right. Let's exactly. do a bonus question at the end of the night. All right, this is the last uh, question. Okay, but like I said, if you just sit in your little cool cat, then get that money, babe. We're going to end the night off right with And then he also said, like, hey, that's a fetish, though. That's oh, a fetish. Yeah. He also <laughs> said, hey, ladies, if y'all send it, y'all can't send y'all picture while they're shaving. They got to be bush. He also said, that's like, juicy. if you, you wouldn't want that's your juicy. girl. That's juicy? No. He also said, like, he if Do he's with share? somebody, oh. he would. If, uh-huh. if you meet the person and you're with them, they would. But if you meet somebody and they want to do it, you wouldn't. Yeah, right. It's not fair. Yeah, if you're not in the game already. Yeah. It's the same thing, though. Nah, my, I ain't going to lie. My girl called to me and said, hey, I want to do OnlyFans. Only what, what you trying to do? Oh, I just tried to show my little cool. I, was, I just showed my little cool cat with the fuck on them. Please be juicy. Juicy fruit. Juicy. That look that looks yes. juicy. Do you agree? Juicy. A woman who puts her family first is more valuable than a woman prioritizes her job. Yeah, I read that Ooh. right. Yeah, I'll turn it Then a woman prioritizes. That's deep. Like family like her kids and That's shit. That's deep. Yeah, like family as in Yeah, it got to come man. first. Your family got to come first. Say that one more time. Is it like family as in her Read man? the question one more time. Oh, read the question one time. A woman who puts her family first is more valuable than a more woman. More valuable. That's the key word. Okay. It would say who prioritizes her job. Do you agree? Job of family. I definitely <clears throat> agree. Because I feel like I if a so. woman, right? If a woman can hold down the family as far as nurture, take care of, educate, you know, like do all the things. Motherly things. Yeah, the motherly love and everything raise and also teach a man like we don't become men like women 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 make us become like men you know what i'm saying so like who cares about the job as long as she's she's like teaching and providing for whatever she needs to do i feel like that's the most valuable thing because without that what is she really 
What are your priorities? She's like, a human she working. That's it. She's not a, a woman working. And she doesn't learn how to be one. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can have a job all you want. Would that make you valuable? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have those assets and, like, and those qualities, then I feel like you're more valuable than a, than a person that doesn't have it. For sure. So I would say, yeah. I agree. I agree. Are you? I mean, I, I, I agree with him. I agree with what he's saying. But she can't put she can't put that before the fam. <coughs> Her fam. Because then what is your drive? What is your motive? Then why would you want to be with her? If all she if her goal is to have a job. Right. Like in a lot of relationships, women grow into new places. The kids get to an older age where they feel, okay, now I got a little more freedom. And they get bored. We gotta remember. Women are people too. They not only here to just be nurturing everybody, they need time for themselves too. So at a certain point in every woman's life, they come to a point where they're like, all right, the kids can clean and take care of themselves. I don't need to focus on this too much. Now let me try to see if I can try to get my dreams, you know? Because a lot of women sacrifice their dreams but then for the family, right? But should that mean her dreams stay dormant at all times? No. Should she not? Should she not be happy? A lot of women will leave relationships because they're not happy because they feel all they are is a mother or all they are is a, a, a helpmate. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's like. So y'all don't know females that that follow their dreams and still do motherly things. That, and be yeah. 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 Don't tell me that's nothing. Nanny. She's that's doing. Different. Oh that's my goodness! Yo. You don't know so Shorty's life because her baby be on stage with her. Please don't tell me that. You don't every, know. Every, you, don't know every you don't know. You don't know. I don't care what you're saying. I don't care what you're saying. I don't care what you're saying. You don't know, you don't know you how many times. Like, okay. Facts. Okay. Like, how many times? Bro, how many I know. Times? I know. I know women, bro. That that work. But and still and still do their mother. You can still do that. But at the end of the day, there's still going to be sacrifice. Hey, son, I can't make your game because I have to work. Hey, hey, I can't. That's why you have that a doesn't partner. That you're not a mother, though. I think that's we, why you have a partner. The question is prioritizing. Prioritize family or work. So if there's going to be cases in, in, in this thing... Husband and wife. Okay, if she where, prioritizing family, then she's gonna yeah. make her. She's gonna work her schedule around that. But this, that's what I'm saying. If she, yeah. what if she doesn't? What if she can't? Or she's gonna lose that job? There's yeah. sacrifices in life. Then my family will un, will be understanding. Okay, hey, mommy gotta work today, this time. How many kids you know? Damn, my mom ain't never come to my games because she had to work. That, that shit is trauma to people. There's, she not missing a, every game. You can't miss every game. If you're missing every game, then you're not prioritizing. That's what we're saying. That's what yeah. I think we're saying. You're not missing every game, If you're game, missing fam. every game, you're not prioritizing. If you're missing a game here and there, like you're not able to catch every single district game, but you catch most, you know what I'm saying? You you are prioritizing. You're, you're getting a sense of balance. We're humans before we're anything. You feel me? So if she's she is prioritizing to the caliber of our relationship, I'm the I'm the father. I'm the coach. I'm able to be there more often. She's the lawyer. She has to be in court. However, she could miss this court. Her 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 psychic or whatever you call them could do this for her, and she can be here. You know, her paralegal could be there. And she and they can handle it. She can be here. Prioritizing isn't necessarily saying every single hundred percent. That's unrealistic. Here's the thing as well. It's not only games. You could miss all the games, but you're there for recitals. You can miss all the things. You could be there for other things. Extracurricular activity. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's. But all, the point is, there's compromises in it. So if you're gonna, if you decide to work, you gotta realize there's gonna be compromise, and you can't prioritize your family sometimes. Sometimes, but if sometimes. you're a family, so you're basically saying what she's saying. Yeah, you're a family I'm not, I'm because little Billy is not gonna be able to come to mommy every court session where where mommy can have kids. He, little Billy's not going to be able to because he has to be at a basketball game. Mommy has a um, fashion show. Little Billy can't come because it's the same day as his district game, and that's the champion district game. He has to beat that. You know what I'm saying? But on Sunday, we can all meet and go bowling because we prioritized our – you know what I'm saying? There's seven days in a week, 365 days in a year. Well, if you're might. telling me that within that time frame you cannot prioritize the family, then we should have never been a family. Hey, look, it's still families that still eat together. Listen, listen. Like, yes, it, it's still families that, bro, I don't, 
Yeah. Fuck what the media be talking about, bro. I mean, it, it, it's less. It's not as it's not as popular as it used to be, but it's still families that eat together, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like cool. so. But again, that's again, prioritize is making family main focus. So you're moving your schedule around that. When you work for somebody else on someone else's time, you don't control when you work and when you don't work. You could put in requests, but how many times we put in requests and they say, oh, sorry, we need you that weekend. We need you for Mother's Day. We need you for this. Like, the question is more so in the sense of you got to choose one, the job or your family. And I think the woman still is more valuable if she chooses her family because then that's, that's right. what's driving her. Even if she does have to miss those games, she's working. So eventually she doesn't have to miss anything. Yeah, and then if I'm in that breadwinning situation, you feel me what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to be like, babe, man, fuck that shit, man. You ain't got a slave for that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I just said, babe, if you don't want to do that shit, if she don't want to work, hey, I got this. I got you. You want to? You want to? You want to make every game? I got this. Shoot, go ahead, Cam. End it. Well, this was my first time on Out the Box. I appreciate y'all for having me. All vibes, good questions. For sure. Yeah, this was a great episode, time, man. Make sure y'all tune in Out the Box on YouTube. Yeah, next episode. Sure.